Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial in LaTeX with Overleaf. My name is Juan, today I'm going to show you how to add notes to a table or a graph or any figure that you include in your templates. I have seen many tutorials, uh, many different options. Um, I checked in Google and stuff and they all seem to be very complicated. They don't seem to work properly. Um, you know, you have to use so many different packages and I don't think the looks is as good. So I'm going to show you how I add notes, the way that it will make it look in this format. And it's going to be very simple. Recall from my previous tutorial, I have shown you how to create tables in LaTeX with Overleaf using a very simple table generator. If you haven't watched that tutorial, please feel free to check in the description of the video. There's a link or you can find the, the link up here. And well, we have the table, we had generated the table, and we're going to try to add some notes like this. The first thing that we're going to do is to locate where it says end table, and there we're going to um, include the following text. We're going to type begin, and then we in curly brackets, we're gonna put mini page. So what mini page is going to do, is going to exactly add a little text under um, under the table that we are including here. So after mini page, you have to add some curly brackets and this is going to tell the length of the mini page. And I'm going to show you this right now. So for example, I'm going to type 13 centimeters. Um, this is something that you will have to uh, try to, um, you know, try different sorts of centimeters to see, you know, the, the exact length of your table. But that's basically it, how many centimeters uh, long is your table. Um, the next thing that you are going to do is to type small. And after small, you're going to include the text that you want under the table. I'm going to just paste a random text that I have here. And now we hit recompile and it's going to appear the text under the, the table. And now, like I mentioned here, you have to, it's like, you have to try different um, lengths. In this case, 13, it was a bit too long. So let's go with 12 centimeters. And now you can see that 12 centimeters um, is looking better. The next thing that we have to do is to handle the space. So now I'm going to show you how to add the space between the table and the notes. You're going to hit after begin mini page. You're going to type B space, which stands for vertical space, and you're going to type 0.1 centimeters. You can try with 0 0.2, 0 0.3. I wouldn't go over 0.3 because that's going to add a lot of space after the between the table and the notes. But 0.1, I think it looks it looks good. And the next thing I'm going to do now is add the lines, the horizontal lines. So to add an horizontal line, all you have to do is to type H line, that's an horizontal line. And we're gonna hit recompile. And you can see that now it adds, um, it's going to add a line. The next thing you can tell is now the line is very close to the notes. So we can definitely, after the line, we can add another space, 0.1 centimeters. We're going to recompile. And now you can see that there's a space between the line and between the text. Finally, I would like to add a second line. This is optional. Some people just like one line. I personally like two lines. So I'm going to type again H line. So that's going to add two lines. We recompile and here we go. I hope you find this tutorial useful. And in case you're interested in LaTeX with Overleaf tutorials, please feel free to subscribe to my channel because I will be submitting more videos about how to do different things in LaTeX with Overleaf. And also I teach how to forecast and estimate different applied time series and forecasting models. So if that's something you're interested in, if you're an economics student or a business student and you are interested in learning how to estimate different applied economic models, you can also check my website and you will find all the tutorials that I have available in Stata, eViews and Python. 
Thank you very much for watching.